Hey folks, welcome to a new series of KK, Coach KK. Ha ha ha, just being silly. Um, want to review some stuff for, for Monday's workout and let you know uh, some of the changes that we're going to make to the programming from Jeremy um, just so that we can get things in. So here we go. We're going to kick this off with the warm up. So I'm going to write on this board. So your warm up, um, we're going to only allow um, 10 minutes for that because we're just on a real tight time. Um, crunch. So we're not going to do his kettlebell flow. We're going to do five burpees and 10 uh, air squats. What I need you to do is make sure as you're doing this, you're reviewing standards, okay? Um, burpee, your chest must touch the floor, right? Um, if you're um, if you're going to do this one, uh, RX is a jump up, not a step up, you know, from the, from the bottom of your burpee. When you're coming back up, you can't step one foot than the other if you're doing RX, so you have to jump it up. So chest on the floor and jumping up if you're RX, step up if you're scaled. Um, on, a, the ten, on the air squats, remind them of um, hips pass parallel, okay? So we're gonna, rather than do this for rounds, I wanna go ahead and just say, spend three minutes working on this. And that way, um, it's, you know, you got time for your slow people and your fast people. So five burpees, 10 air squats for three minutes. Then, um, Want to grab some PVC and um, PVC and hit up a uh, good morning um, and a shoulder press and um, clean. So reviewing those. This one you're going to need in the Metcon, and these are going to be for the strength cycle, right? So good morning. All right, PVC for that. Um, the whole thing, and then last thing you're gonna do is, is do that push down the wall deal um, where you lay on the floor and uh, think about sewing your belly button to your to your ribs or your hips to your ribs, um, tighten your core and uh, stack it up. So do that. I would do um, 10 second hold, count, count it out, make them really do it, and then do three times of that. So three times a 10 second hold, all right? then they can hop up and start on their strength. Um, and this is a day where you may want to do a board talk right at the beginning, um, where you just say, "Here's let's talk through our whole day so you understand what's going on. We got a lot to do, here's what we're gonna do, blah, blah, blah. So you might wanna do that. Second part of your day, the next, uh, we're just gonna have to allow only 15 minutes for this, is um, deadlift, no deficit, okay? This is per Jeremy, no deficit. You want time under tension going down and up. So I think he said it was like a three by, a six by three. And don't drop it. Don't drop it, right? Um, no dropping, six by three. Touch and go. Touch and go. Um, all right, so remind people to have good form on the way up and on the way down. Um, tight shoulders and knuckles rolled to the floor. Um, on your handstands, um, we're, we're doing the upside down this time, right? So we want to make everybody going upside down. So, um, do three reps only. He calls, he's calling for five. If you have a handstand push up, like, you know, so, you know, there's a couple of guys that are able to get a handstand push up. They're going to do five. Um, but then remind them that they need to be, it needs to be something they can get five of. Um, but three, three is good for the, the folks who are just going upside down. Um, and maybe even once if they're just still getting used to it, right? Because we have a lot of work to do. So, you know, spending a whole lot of time fooling around on the wall. You know what else I did the other day and it worked? I sent, I immediately sent one group of people and I just said girls and guys because it was just a faster way to divide the class. I sent girls to the wall, guys to the deadlift bar. And that way there was already staggered at the wall right from the get-go. Make sense? So again, all the tricks to keep this class going on time. All right, after that, um, you're gonna spend, that's gonna leave you 30, 35 minutes um, to get this done. So we're gonna run this in two sessions, two heats, because we have so many new people, we definitely want them getting used to looking for the standard, judging each other. I think there's, it's gonna help them to know the standard themselves and hold themselves accountable if they're holding someone else accountable. So again, so this is um, one to 10 ascending, of um, squat, uh, dumbbell squats, right? So that's pass parallel, get the dumbbells up to your shoulder any way you can, squat, right? And then uh, burpees over bar. So 
we're gonna have a novice division for say uh, a few of those folks who, who can't jump um, and that's gonna be step over the bar. But every other division, you're supposed to jump over the bar, okay? So step over bar. So I would encourage anybody who can jump, who just doesn't like to jump, you know what I mean? Unless they have a physical reason why they can't, like, or, you know, I, I, the, the people I'm thinking of is uh, Jay Stork's got knee problems, right? Um, uh, Debbie. Debbie Fincham, who's probably afraid to jump. And, um, but she's at 55 scaled, it's a bar on the floor. So you might want to see if she'll, if you hold her hands, if she'll jump over that. And this is all to Rachel because she's got that class, probably, yeah. And then um, uh, Susan Frame probably shouldn't jump, make her step over. Um, so yeah, so novice, we're going to make a novice division at step over bar. Um, so one through 10, that, and then, a, and then the burpees over bar, right? Um, if you remember last year, it was really difficult to get uh, through that because you only have 12 minutes to do to do that work. Um, but what we are going to do, especially if you finish this last year, set up a clean bar um, at the ahead of time. Make sure they know that they want to have a clean that they can pick up um, and get done, like when they're roasted. So something super light for them to do. Um, and we're only going to do uh, the clean, uh, one clean bar, no extra weights. So what they'll do is if they get done and say they have two minutes, how many times can you clean that two, in two minutes, right? So um, we're not going to keep adding weight and, and take it all that complicated. I'm really fully expecting that probably 75% of our people won't even get to the clean. So, because um, this was super hard. Um you're gonna have clipboards. So make sure everybody gets a clipboard. Good news, there is only one score sheet this time. Um, I know last time there was men's and women's and that was a little confusing because some people use the wrong one. So there's just one score sheet, but we're gonna have those printed and available. Um, we'll have pencils there um, at, you know, right under the board. So um, yeah, I would do, you know, two 12 minutes and, and you're gonna think it's gonna take you at least fit, you're gonna spend time at the front up here reviewing the movement standards or maybe all the way up here. Up to you, whatever you think, but be sure to review movement standards as you do the burpee and air squat. Um, that'll be that'll help that. And then you can you know do a little bit of the clean and you can remind people of that. Um, so you might be able to do it all up here. But make sure people are warming up, do a few squats, um, dumbbell squats before they start, a few burpees over the bar before they start and make sure that they can clean that weight before they start. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys, we appreciate you. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Bye.